mass. Uh, this is 0 0.25 kilograms. This is 40 newtons per meter. Find the total force on the block when the spring is neither stretched nor compressed. Find the total force on the block as it passes the equilibrium position. Um, so when the spring is neither stretched nor compressed, is the total force on the block just gravity? So it's just mg, right? Wow. That's easy. So for A, like if we do a force diagram on this, obviously fg, does that make sense? So for this, we would say the sum of the forces is zero if it's hanging there. And we would say something like fs equals fg. For part A, they tell us um, that the spring is not stretched or compressed. So for part A, yeah, x is fs, which is equal to negative kx, that's zero. So then for this one, the sum of the forces um, on the block which is M, or well, the sum of the forces, which is MA, is going to be, well, sorry, yeah, it's just going to be MG, because in this case, it's gravity. The sum of the forces, the only force on it is just MG. No, no, I'm just explaining, because I'm recording, so I figured why not explain it out. So all you needed was this. Without that, that is not... What's the... Yeah, I think so. Then for B, find the total force on the... All right, the equilibrium... Oh, yeah, the total force on the block. Sorry, well, oh, oh. Yeah, so the equilibrium position is this position. It's this position where it's hanging here. Okay, so this is the equilibrium position. And in that position, this is true. Right? Does that make sense? Equilibrium means when it balances itself out, where is it? So that's why it's just hanging there. So the sum of the forces are zero there. Because gravity's pulling down, but the spring is pulling up. Does that make sense? Okay. And then for part C, it asks how far from the equilibrium position is the block in part A? Uh, how far is it in part A? So we know, uh, oh, okay, so something like this. That's the spring. Does that make sense to you? So then what we want to know here is this value, which is in fact x. So all I have to do is use this statement and say fs is equal to Fg. So we get, well, I'm just, Kx is equal to Mg. So x is equal to Mg over K. So that gives me 0.25 times 10, that's like 16, divided by 40. So that knocks that, and you get one fourth of my butt, so you get one sixteenth of, an, of a meter or something, which is like, what is it, 0. 0.0625? Yeah, I'm sorry, I was off by one. So I'm going to say 6.1 centimeters. So I'm going to say 6.1 centimeters. 